And it looks like we are underway. It is Scotty in the blue corner. The RNG is favoring the favorites here. I mean, Scotty getting the rockets. It's a good start, but if you don't get any weapons to complement it afterwards, then yeah, you're going to be bleeding time here. I mean, CHX, look at that time. He's got 78 seconds in to eat my Stromlo. That's really, really good. And ever since that rockets, Scotty has gotten nothing. That nuke does close the room for him, so he's going to be about eight seconds back, but he needs to see that orb. Yeah, without the orb, it's definitely going to get him behind. But in this room in particular, this is actually a good time to, you know, not have the orb. But it's not going to definitely lose you any time if your drops are pretty good, which Scotty is unfortunately getting zero drops in this room. But the gimmick for this room is that you must kill 18 trapnels. Only four can be on the screen at a time. And as soon as... Oh! You know, oh he... Orb on the feet there for Scotty. Very nice. Now he needs to keep that orb nice and healthy. And oh, CHX, not quite. That is the last one. It'll be a two minute flat into total carnage. Scotty with the orb trying to finish off the foot soldiers and the rest of the shrapnel's rockets, followed by spreaders. And yeah, Scotty unfortunately bleeding some time here. That got a 214. And the problem was early on, just did not have any weapons to take care of the shrapnels when he didn't have that orb. Yeah, Scotty did a great job clearing up uh, Eat My Shrapnel there, but CHX. You know, that's actually a world record pace time going right now. He's getting all the power ups. He's got everything under control. He's looking very slick for a number two runner. And, you know, Bryceoff likes to quote uh, CHX being probably the future world record holder of this game. He's definitely showing it with this first match right here. Yeah, he's had a lot of mid five teens in easy percent attempts. And look at this Dynamite 248 into the bonus room for CHX. Yeah, that is world record play pace right there. But tank trouble coming up and he does have a clip left. Is that rockets or spreader? I think that's a spreader. All right, so he might be able to take down one of those gunners with the spreader, but if he can get a rocket drop first. Oh, speaking of rockets, there's some rockets now for Scotty, and this is still a solid time. He's got a 313, 314, about 25 seconds back of CHX, though. It's just he's putting up great stuff here. Unfortunately, that's where he does get the first gunner down. And the next weapon is invulnerability. Well, this is your typical tank trouble trash here, Leaf. When you're on world record pace like this, the game's just not going to give you the drops. It, that's just typically how tank trouble works. Yeah, that's the most aggravating thing is when you're like far ahead in time. But it's like he hasn't gotten a single thing. Now he's got the spreader, but the you know, rockets could have done a lot better. Now, speaking of rockets, it's Scotty picking up back to back rockets here to start uh, tank trouble. So both of the gunners are down. So he's going to have an easier time at least to start things up. We'll see if the drops continue. And yeah, CHX not even going to get a sub four out of tank trouble just because he didn't get any kind of drop. Still a 403, a really good time into Mutoid Man, so. Yeah, a couple spreaders, yeah, and then vulnerability shield, maybe. He could definitely clutch us out for a PB, maybe even world record. He's only three seconds, I think, behind Bryce Hall, so. Right, 515. And meanwhile, Scotty with the spreaders trying to finish up this room here, but watch out for the shrapnels. All right, it is the end of the room, but uh, he's still going to lose a little bit of time. Not much. He only lost two seconds, so 430. Scotty's still very much alive. Let's see. And I, he got the ball buster. Yes. Yeah, good call on that to also not take the death, but now he's going to take one because there's a spreader that spawned right behind the mutoid man. Hopefully he doesn't cover it up. He Ooh, wow, just, he just just grabbed him. That was very close Unfortunately, there. Scotty making the mistake here, grabbing the lobber before taking down the swirl. He's in trouble now, but does pick up an invulnerability, so that helps him a lot. So meanwhile, we got a glitch toy, plus another spreader on TH. Next wow, this what is are these pace. drops here? What an insane pace. This is almost a minute. He's on the final form right now. I mean, he might t turn in the second fastest time in tournament history if that was enough transfer damage for CHX. And unfortunately, he did not get enough transfer damage. He's going to need another weapon. And then a dead drop just to flex on him. That's unfortunate. Yeah, so he's not. Unfortunately, he's not going to take the lead. Look at that. He needed one more drop. It's oh. still going to be a great time, but that is not going to be the fastest Mutoid man of the tournament. Oh, come on, game, really? 91 yeah. seconds, and 90 is the current PB. GG CHX. That's still a very good run. Despite oh, absolutely. That would have broken the old tournament record that uh, Deller had with that 541. So that is a fantastic time. And Scotty not really doing anything wrong. It's just CHX got the drops. The only thing that really kind of stopped them was tank trouble. I mean, 
he he got there remember he had a 248 going into the bonus room and still could not get a sub four just because the drops were typical garbage for chx i mean that could have been like a five two x rather easily yeah with a bunch of rockets that could have been a sub four entry just yeah it, it this that's rng for that's smash tv that's the name of the game so it happens well, yeah great performance there for chx a 535 and showing Scotty and probably putting Bryce off on notice with that run, if you want my honest opinion. Is that is that our best time in the tourney right now? Um, I'm not 100% because I did not see either Bryce off or CHX's matches. I would have need to go back. That's, if that's not the fastest, it's probably top two. 650 for Scotty is nothing to sneeze at. It's just... He went up against a buzzsaw in game number one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's nothing you could really do about that. Just, yeah, that's something. That's what you kind of expect from CHX, though. Like, not the fact that it's like a 535, but he's definitely, like, consistently getting sub sixes and stuff. So it's just one of those times. And Scotty, yeah, he ran into a buzzsaw with this one game. Just, But you know what? It's only one game because there's still possibly four more that we have to play, though. All right, I will go ahead and get them ready for game number two. Yeah, but what LZ just said about Scotty, though, nothing really went on for him other than just he didn't get an orb right away, and the power ups just favored CHX as far as that orb immediately for him. Just, yeah. Definitely, hopefully, the RNG will favor him a little bit better this time. You know, we obviously the rng favors the favorites but let's you know let it favor the underdog this time around i agree i mean scotty like i said he played a very admirable game there and that you know his time's gonna win a good percentage of matches but when you put up a 535 i mean i don't know what the record for the 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 the, the fastest losing time is but i wouldn't be surprised if we see some five three x's in this tournament lose Right, you are. We uh, only had a couple of those last year, but the skill being a, the ceiling being a little higher than last year, we, I definitely could expect that to happen. So, all right, game number two underway. Both of them do have their razor shield, and again, Scotty going to go aggressive like he did in game number one. It paid off for him then. We'll see if it pays off for him here in game two. But this time, it is going to be CHX with the whole shot. Very good arena one there, and this is going to be. A low 38. That is a fantastic arena one. Mid 41. So you're talking about a little over three second lead for CHX early on. Let's see what kind of drops the game gives these runners. Look at this. You talk about RNG favoring the favorite sleep. First drop orb versus first drop grenades. Get out of town. Oh, that's unfortunate for Scotty. But yeah, CHX, like this is the run you want that to happen on because he went out of the room with 38 he could definitely get out of here with 115 right now with his fire and then rockets, rockets. It, to close the better. room look at this he called it 115 into eat my shrapnel dino mine scotty does get an orb but just very late in the room and he could be 15 seconds back by the time but this rocket will help him take down the last of the mr shrapnels i mean 128 that's solid but he's 13 seconds back yeah chx is on fire right now but you know a lot can happen in the next five minutes, though, because he still has to play the game. Oh, of course. Absolutely. But I mean, CHX, I mean, being the number two ranked player in the world just doesn't make too many mistakes. I mean, Scotty can't be thinking about who he's facing off against right now. What he's got to do, he's got to play his race. I mean, he knows what he's up against, but he, he also knows, I mean, kind of treat it like you're going up to a PB. I mean, 157 into total carnage. That's just nuts. Yeah, he's definitely on fire right now. So he played that room perfectly. I mean, there really wasn't anything to lose. Only thing he could have done better is maybe have a nuke, but you can't obviously determine that. But there's a razor shield. He's definitely going to you know, grind with that one. He's going to be aggressive with it too. But I wanted to hold my words a little bit because the last time I jinxed him on his game and then he leaf edited it. So. Right. Scotty uh, didn't lose any time uh, in that uh, eat my shrapnel. So both of them had the even Steven there. Yeah, having the power of that orb, you don't really need too much to be level pegging coming out chx though rockets this could close the room for him more rockets that he could take to him with tank trouble are you kidding me are you kidding me 246 that is insanity and he has rockets yeah he's popping off on his webcam for sure 
Wow, and he's gonna have rockets to start tank trouble. If he gets, continues to get good drops, hold on. World record alert could be happening right here at GG Speedruns. And again, Scotty's not doing really anything wrong. He's not getting the drops though at CHX, and he's still gonna have a solid time. I mean, it's 312. I mean, nothing wrong with a 312 in a tournament race, but he's just, and more rockets what? for CHX. What is this madness? What? Who's in charge of this game right now? Like, come on, this is incredible. And it, oh, he does get a little bit sabotaged with the spread. I don't know how much rocket he had left in that clip, but gee whiz. Now this is probably where the game's gonna dry up the drops here because it is tank trouble after all. Nuke, that's fine. That'll take down some of Mr. Shrapnels here. Still can gain control of that room here. More rockets for CHX. And rockets for Scotty, so both of the gunners are done. And, and a razor shield! Oh my god! 348! Holy, Holy smokes. smokes! If he this, gets drops here, this world record's gone! I, I 82 don't sec 83 seconds! 83 seconds! Come on! Come on, just give us a good Mewtwo, man, just for this one race, please. It's not even a race anymore. This is just world record now. Wow. Unfortunately, the first drop ended up being, and he does get flexed on, will not get the ball buster. So he's looking for spreaders, is CHX, and that is a key. You don't like to see that. Scotty, meanwhile, still has the Orban tank. He's done nothing wrong. He has a 424. That's a long ways to go to that spread. He's going to be able to get to it. He will get it, but that's a prime player two uh, spreader yeah. on that one. Yeah, Prince Leaf, I think you know something about it. And then another it. spreader! Oh. Will he be able to get to it, or is Mutoid Man... The game knows! Oh. The game knows, Leaf! The game oh. knows. Oh, that's heartbreaking. Just just to watch such an incredible time get completely blown away by the Mutoid Man. But this is still a very good pace for him. But Scotty is actually making some progress on this one with this little spreader. Yes, he is. Up a little bit. Absolutely. I mean... There's the penultimate form. So yeah, world record off the table. You got Mutoid Man being Troll Toid Man as he has 99.9% .9 of the time when you're on this kind of pace. But wow. Lobbers now for CHX. Scotty still has one gunner attached. There's the spreader that could finish it off. Or is he gonna block him again? No. He's gonna get the transfer damage too. Oh, he actually clipped through him on yeah, that one. But there unfortunately it is. Unfortunately, it was just on the on the final form where there isn't any hitboxes to hit, so. Wow. GG, another 5.3x for CHX, this time a 5.37. Oh, but what could have been, Prince Leaf? What could have been? Yeah, 347 entry into Mutoid Man, definitely what could have been. That's a, I wouldn't say that that's a unexpected time from someone at CHX, but that's a task time expected for something like that. That was incredibly lucky incredibly well played by chx a very good match scotty i mean he's gonna play a very good he's gonna get a 613 or 614 and lose by 30 some seconds just nuts yeah that's uh that is a very good time to have despite that that being a losing time just scotty did nothing wrong it was just chx had the better game for rng on his side yeah, CHX mentioning in chat that this was his fastest entry into Mutoid Man ever. And I mean, Bryceolf has only had a few three, four X's going into the Mutoid Man room right there. I mean, yeah, he gets a 71 second Mutoid Man fight. His personal best, by the way, is a 69 second. That's 457. I mean, it, it's there. It's just the drops just didn't quite line up and then that one spreader that he got blocked on that ultimate game knows moment right there but still what a two set of runs there by chx two five three x's in tournament play <laughs> just i feel bad for scotty because he is playing his heart out right now 6 13 and that's a losing time by 36 seconds just that's nuts yeah, it's just he had to go through a slight buzzsaw to get here too, because he had a hard match with Fireboth right before this. So it's like hard match before, right now into the buzzsaw. Just he cannot catch a break right now. It seems with these runs, just he needs to get a sub six or something. But CHX has got to cool off with the runs a little bit of the RNG just to kind of you know even it out a little yeah, bit. Yeah, he he. Considering what happened in this last run, I would not be the least bit surprised if CHX has a letdown run, but we'll see what happens. Uh, Scotty's ready to go. CHX, I guess, wants to gain his composer just a bit. You know, I, I certainly can't blame him after a world record pace into Mutoy, man. He's ready to go. I'm going to count him down, Leaf.
Yeah, CHX is now covering his webcam with that Taco Bell cup now. So, yeah, we, he doesn't want to see us or see a, or have us see him popping off anymore than his webcam. But those were some crazy paces, and you definitely saw his body language. He was excited for that run. So, oh, CHX is on normal. I just noticed that. <laughs> Maybe, maybe. Okay, he just changed it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Right, right. I, I, think, I think I think he was trying to give Scotty some false hope there for a moment. Well, I did see him kind of slap his head a little bit. Just duh. I, oops, I almost did that. Yeah, I mean, he could have. He could still world record with with normal percent what the difference is between easy and normal is that you have less of a clip than you do with uh, easy percent i believe it's three quarters the amount of clip the ammo that you get in normal and when you're on hard difficulty you only get half the clip that you'd get on easy but you are essentially playing the same game that's why in uh, like tougher difficulties the orb is actually more valuable than it is in oh easy. for sure and we're pretty much even steven going into collect power up so well, let's see what the drops are going to be for both of our players yeah chx having a little bit of the whole shot uh actually with a little bit of the time sink maybe not but it, they could be evened out all right nuke opener for the uh better for chx so at least for the moment the game's not giving chx the god drops early on here up two games to nil in this best of five there's Scotty getting the first orb of the game. Ooh, so, he had to do a lot of dancing because that shrapnel was going all over the place when Scotty grabbed that orb. Rockets for CHX. That's a very good drop here. And just because a little bit better drop quality gets a 120 into Eat My Shrapnel. Scotty, you know, didn't really get anything to compliment that orb, so he's going to be about seven and a half seconds back. And CHX, oh, CHX is getting clubbed down. Yep. He is getting That's clubbed down, so that is going to cost him a little bit there. Uh, maybe not because he just got rockets to replace it so you can't really lose time in this room so oh that's but definitely... scotty dies as well a, a huge missed opportunity there leaf yeah and chx still hasn't seen an orb too so that's kind of a a, a problem for scotty who had the orb just yet he, he was set up to basically take advantage in uh, total carnage coming up so chx riding the rockets and all the lucky power-ups he's going to make good work of this room not lose any time scotty on the other hand is kind of losing it a little bit so yeah he might be a little bit tilted after losing that orb there it's 203 into total carnage for chx and yeah scotty is going to be bleeding quite a bit of time because of that death because of the foot soldiers not being disposed he's now down 17 seconds and there's the orb for chx he can really start to pull away and just turn on the afterburners and lock up this match rockets to start for scotty but he needs to see an orb very shortly mm -hmm. yep either that or get like a razor shield or more rockets but i mean the orb is definitely what you really want to see especially right now he's kind of in desperation mode it's elimination the loser after, if he loses this match he goes down to the second chance bracket probably to have a eventual rematch with fire broth so Oh, I think a lot of people would pay to see that one after what we saw in the opening uh, matinee. There's finally an orb for Scotty, but I believe the damage is going to be done. 256 into the bonus room for CHX. Not as great as 248, but that is still pretty darn good. Yeah, still a very, very good pace for uh, CHX 42 there. Just yeah, after coming off of what we just saw, I mean, it's kind of disappointing, a little bit of letdown, but we just kind of forget that anything below three is still a very good pace and very, uh, very uh, good chance that you can do a PB on all that stuff if RNG lines up. Nice nuke there. That was almost the end of the room at 325 into the bonus room for Scotty, but he is 29 seconds back. And again, I mean, the, the mishap did set him back. I think he was still going to be trailing, you know, just because CHX did eventually get that orb. But losing that orb and eat my shrapnel really put him behind the eight ball in game number three. Yeah, CHX getting a razor shield at the almost at the beginning of the room, can control of it. Both gunners are dead. Just other than that, I mean, the, the power ups are just typical tank trouble trash and all that stuff. So hopefully Scotty yeah. fares better. Yeah, and he needs to fare better if he wants to get back into this game. But there's rockets on the feet for CHX, which could close out the room. And they do for CHX a 404 into Mutoid Man. Still a very solid time. He would have to get a 67 second mutoid man for a world record but hey 64 seconds is the all-time best by telia one who knows yeah with the recent discovery of some new strats i mean if he can just clip through the mutoid man and do a little spreader damage he might be able to get that all right let's see if he's able to get the ball buster and he does indeed 
Yep, he gets the ball buster and he's hitting the sweet spot. Or he's kind of mi a little too low on the sweet spot, but you want to hit between the black collar, just like in between that and the circle. So, so you hit all the hitbox at the same time, potentially hitting three. And that's how you do the extra damage with the lobber. 446 for Scotty into Mute Toy Man. So he's got a lot of work to make up. He's going to need to see a lot of spreader and vulnerability chains here. And he also needs CHX to get some dead drops. And that's exactly what's not happening. He's riding the lobber train here. Lots and lots of lobbers. The old school damage. Remember, the new discovery is if you aim between the two brown targets, you could deal up to five times as much damage here. And CHX doing everything he can to get that maximum damage. There's a spreader that's going to have to go manual on and takes the death, unfortunately. So not going to be a 5-3x for the third straight game for CHX, but still a great chance to get another sub six so we got a spreader on scotty's side unfortunately it was a player two spreader so he's gonna have to do a little main that's yeah. just the thing just underwhelming the underdogs here. he's getting the spreaders on the wrong side here the spreader could be enough here for chx to finish the and then gets the invulnerability wrong form game another sub six for chx he will lock up this match and advance to the third round of the winner's bracket three games to nil yeah, still, I mean, there's nothing really to sneeze at Scotty's performance today. I mean, he definitely played very well, just unfortunately ran into a bottle on CHX. You kind of expect that from the number two runner, number two seed in the game. Just, yeah, Scotty, he played well. Just there's nothing wrong with the way he played. Just that happens, unfortunately, in Smash TV. Yeah, let's, we're going to take a look here. I mean, he had the 555 uh, and... 552, yeah, Scotty would have been on PV pace. He actually would have won that particular game. I mean, that's how tough CHX just is. I mean, again, as you mentioned, Scotty played quite well. I mean, game three was a little bit of a letdown for him after dropping that orb and eating my shrapnel. I mean, you know, aside from that, I, I, I thought he played really, really well. And I think he can wreak a lot of havoc in that second chance bracket. Right you are with that one. This is... I think he already knows he's seen the room and all that, but I'm just going to close this one out. Um, CHX is uh, going to move on to the next round. It's worth noting that since he's now guaranteed locked up some money in the bank, uh, the next rounds after this are going to be going to best of sevens. Yeah, that's right. So it's going to take four victories when you get to the money rounds in order to advance going forward so yeah once you get to those best of seven matches you know you are in the money so scotty gonna finish with a 722 respectable performance today by scotty but when you go up against someone who throws a 535 537 and a 555 there's just not much you can do about it Leif